Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and today we are starting a new series. We're going to be doing Shadows of Starlight in Alpha 7 in hard mode. So <clears throat> let's get this going. What I'm going to do is, uh, I just called it SOS hard. We're just going to randomize the seed. I don't, I don't even know if there is a, I don't even know if there's a seed for if it makes a difference at all so whatever we'll just set that to that uh we're gonna go in and we're gonna do basically uh starting equipment we'll set the hard player progression slow uh actually you know what i'll just do that to normal degradation normal uh, temperature normal, amount of ore normal, deposits normal, drone presence high, drone base attack hard, rate of NPC spawn high, enemy difficulty hard, constructor speed fast, blueprint speed fast, auto miner depletion true, block limit for certain devices true, and blueprint spawn limit true. So basically what this will do is the progression will be fairly normal. I'm not going to start with much, um, and the enemies are going to be hard, is basically what this comes down to. So let's set that, and Brexus is our only starting location choice here. Let's do it! <clears throat> so the last time I did this in Alpha 6, I actually failed. Uh, and that was because I never put the right resources in my factory to spawn a CV and then I could never get the resources up to spawn a CV. So I kind of screwed myself. So this time around, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be getting the resources first and making sure that I can do that. So um, right now, the base is turned on and it says inspect your personal cargo box. Okay, so let's do that really quick. And okay, so we're just gonna grab all this. Uh, starts us with three biofuel, 20 can meat, some large fuel packs, uh, auto miner devices. Oh wow, pre-built, five of them, interesting. And 30 mil bullets. Okay, I don't know why I didn't take all the bullets. That was kind of weird. Uh, okay. So it also starts you with an assault rifle and 4,000 rounds of projectile rifle rounds uh, with a motorbike. Oh, night vision goggles too. Wow. And a multi-tool. Wow. Okay. So the multi-tool even comes with five charges. Holy crap. So what are we supposed to do now? Find the Xerox Prometheum refinery and find a console with cargo data. So it wants you to just go take out the refinery right away. Now... If you notice in here, there is zero resources. And I believe if I go into the um, cargo box. Oh, there's another multi tool with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. What's in here? Some adrenaline shots. Okay, that's fine. And. That's it, that's it, okay. And what about small ammo box? I guess we can, oh, look at that, more loot. That's funny, gave me another biofuel. Actually, that's cool. Uh, the ammo box should actually take this stuff though for the turret up on the top, because there's a cannon turret. At least there was before in Alpha 6. I'm assuming Alpha 7's the same way. Oh, starts with 5002 bottles. Well, <clears throat> that's all great and dandy. Um, to tell you the truth, yeah, I know it shows that I have O2 and I have 15 bottles on me. I don't think I want to spend my energy right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I'll do is I'll throw most of this. Oops, what was that? Oh, heal. <laughs> Let's turn my light on so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so... Let's go into here. We're just going to dump most of this stuff off. I'm going to keep that. Actually, that I'm going to put in my factory right away. 
Uh, same with the core. Actually, I'll hold on to that. Uh, the motorcycle will come in handy. Let's throw that down in there. We'll equip, whoops, <coughs> we'll equip this, not there, we'll equip it there, and then we'll equip this there, and we'll put one of the multi-tools there, and so this, and this, and this, uh, insulation boost, we should probably put that on our armor, and the rest of it can go in there, that can go in there, eh, I don't have a gun to use that ammo yet. Okay. So we've got all these insulation boosts. I'm thinking we're going to need them. And some O2. And if I need to, I can just make, I can quickly make, how much does it do? Upward count two. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, that'll use up five bottles, but it'll generate. 10 of the smaller bottles. <clears throat> okay, well that's spinning up really quick. Let's get our boosts in. So it starts us with medium armor. We're going to put all these boosts in. So now we're good to minus 40 and 75. Yeah, okay. So... And come on. Okay, <clears throat> that's plenty to start with. I'm almost tempted to throw those in <laughs> the factory too. So what I'm going to be planning on doing here is I'm going to get my hover box. I'm going to send that to the factory. So I need 176 iron, 140 copper, and 102 silicone. Let's see what this stuff gives us. And yeah, multi tools actually count for factory gear, so remember that. And oh, these portable work lights will go in there. So we've got a start going already. <clears throat> okay. Now I noticed there was no freaking fridge. Uh, and these things are useless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble this stuff. And oh. Oh, I have it on public. That's okay. We'll leave it on public for now. We'll just throw this stuff in here for now. Okay. Okay, that's fine. There's no fridge, so we'll just carry the food on us. And we've got roughly a day to go get resources before we get onslaught of critters. So I think what we'll do is, <clears throat> excuse me, let's arm this stuff and we'll get that loaded. Okay, and let's get our bike out. So basically what I want to do is I want to smash a bunch of rocks like the ones I just passed. Why does it always turn your light off? That's a little annoying. Okay, so let's go over here to these rocks really quick. We're gonna switch it to stone removal. I know most people just go do the, the Prometheum factory right off the bat, uh, but by that time, um, You've wasted energy on your base and all this other stuff. Did you notice I never actually put any of my fuel cells in the base? Because, well, I'm not going to be around to utilize that. So if the base runs out of energy, I don't really care at this point. <clears throat> I'd rather save the energy for when I spawn in a vehicle. So you can see we're, get, we're actually getting resources here, including crushed stone which is very important. Now, we're gonna need double the amount of, well, those, what? Oh, those are slimes. Okay, so those are non-aggressive slimes. We're not gonna worry about those right now unless we need to level some more. Basically, what I wanna do is I wanna get to fourth level. And have enough resources to spawn in the 
HV. So I'm just going to be running around grabbing this stuff, smashing rocks. <clears throat> and eventually, what I, I guess what I could do is I could start killing some of these slimes too to, to pick up some of the meat so that I can have it start spoiling. So let's, uh, let's do that. Let's target this guy. Oops. No, didn't want to do that. Let's target this guy. There we go, level two. You notice I was aiming at his eyeball because headshots give more damage. So if you can get headshots in, you're gonna... do more damage. And you can see I'm getting decent XP. And I'm just trying to minimize my Wow, this guy is like dodging everything I got at him. Not for long. Uh, you can see my temperature is actually a little higher than what my suit can handle. Now, it's only a little bit higher. So if I go lower down, you'll notice that the temperature should drop if I go into the water. Oh, it's not deep enough. Okay. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Let's just... Uh, stuff. What we really need to do is smash these rocks. Level three, good. What I need is level four. Level four will get me enough points to get all the extras I need on my HV. I'm gonna show you a little, <clears throat> a trick for gathering resources and leveling at, when you hit level four, it's like super easy. Now, Getting a little bit worried that my temperature is not dropping yet. My core temperature is dropping. It's down to 21. That could be a problem. And if it becomes too much of a problem, I'll have to run back to the base to warm up, which, which isn't ideal at this point. So we'll just keep doing this until I have to. <clears throat> there we go, 40, and my temperature's back up to normal. Now the reason I'm not using my motorcycle right now is because there's Everything's so close together that jumping on and off the motorcycle at this point is actually going to take more time. So until I've run out of easily accessible rocks to smash, then I'm not going to worry about the motorcycle. Now I don't want to throw it in my factory right away. And what is that, a drone over there? Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh! Let's turn my... Oh, you want to join the party too, do you? Well... Oh, open wound, you bad... <laughs> a bad monster. Okay, well, that's okay. We have... Bandages. So bandages get rid of open wounds. They also get rid of broken leg syndrome and they heal you a little bit. So we'll do this. 
get their meat. Okay, and did it say that I hit, no, okay, so I'm halfway to level four. I need, I need rocks. Okay, so now nothing's really all that close. So at this point, I'm gonna use my motorcycle. And do I really wanna go closer to the base though with that drone? Uh, he seems to be just happy where he is, so. That's fine, let's pick up a motorcycle. Stop turning my light off. It's kind of interesting that it started me at night. Usually you start during the day. So I'm a little worried. Maybe it's not gonna give me a full 24 hours because of that. There's resources over there, but I, at this point, I just want, I just want to smash some rocks and pick this pentaxid. The pentaxid will come in handy later on when I have a CV and I need to warp. Right now, all it is, is XP for picking it, really. But I will need it. It's not that I don't need it. I will need it. It's just I won't need it yet. But it is giving me XP. <clears throat> okay, I don't want to get too, too close to there and start getting shot up. So we'll just keep smashing. I wonder if I can smash these. Oh, but it didn't give me anything, that's okay. And we just keep doing this. I know most people would have already assaulted the Promethean factory, given the fact that you're given enough bullets to probably do it right off the bat. It's just that by the time you get out, there's a whole bunch of baddies spawned and I want to try it a different way this time. I want to try and and maybe go do some other POIs first or something. Uh, maybe do the Promethean Factory last. Wouldn't that be a kicker? Was he shooting at me? No. Okay, so motorcycle time. And we'll head over to these rocks here. So let's start here. Jump off, pick that up, turn the light back on, go over to here, switch back to my drill. Oh, cannon drone's moving. Now, did he spot me? He did, in fact, spot me. Did he not? Is he coming at me? It uh, doesn't seem like it. Okay. We can deal with him later. <clears throat> now the other thing that I want to try is, is to only use the mobile command base initially just to spawn in my HV. And I think I want to actually set up my own base to trigger drone base attacks. Or I can just flip it to private, I guess. That, that should do it. That should trigger drone base attacks. And the reason why I want drone base attacks is because they drop loot that I'll need to actually craft an SV or a, a CV with. 
uh, namely the capacitor devices. And what are you doing? Get off my rock. There you go. I might need to kill him though. There we go, level four. Okay, and then what are we at for resources? Not enough. So 300, that'll give us 300 iron. That's not bad. We've got enough iron there. Uh, I don't think we have enough copper or silicone, so we've got to keep smashing rocks. So it looks like over here is going to be where we need to go. Let's check out these rocks. And there's another puddle over there with pentaxit by the look of it. Pick this up, turn my light back on, get my drill equipped. Come on. Thank you. So the iron's fairly easy. The iron is, is pops out of the rocks quite frequently. I guess I should have used my motorcycle there. That's okay. Well, and there's a reason why I'm not going and digging up the deposits. Because initially, because I don't have very much biofuel and deposits, you end up like spending a whole biofuel just to get down to the deposit half the time. And so I'm not going to have enough biofuel to do that for the three different types of resources. So my better use of my biofuel at this point is to smash these rocks. And okay, we had some adrenaline shots. Did we not? Does that not give you? Yeah. Uh, okay, so what do we need here? We need oxygen. Oops, let's do that one. And wow, I never put my O2 generator down. That was that was a fail. That's okay. I've got enough. And those bottles back at the so it's not. I'm not gonna suffocate. Gotta utilize the stamina boost while I have it. So the stamina boost, at least it used to, what it did was it increased your stamina gain so that you, you gain stamina quite rapidly and which actually would make it so that you could almost run indefinitely while you had the stamina boost on. That's too bad I didn't have some Kava coffee because that would actually help increase my body temperature uh, so on on snow planets kava coffee is awesome on like desert planets not so much you gotta you gotta watch what you're doing with the kava because you can actually overheat your body doing it. okay how's our resources going we're up to 228 so i See, we, we are getting cobalt. I want to get up to at least 100 silicone ore before we head back and start refining all this. Now, I've, I've already got enough ore to actually spawn in the HP. It's just that I want some extra stuff. I want to uh, make a mobile constructor for it. I want to make some headlights for it. And my secret little trick, well, it's not really secret. I've seen other people do it too on YouTube, so it's not really secret, but um, there's a way that I can use a hover vehicle to get as much XP and resources that I can, and meat that I could possibly ever use. And 
without really spending any resources other than a little bit of fuel. Okay, so we're mostly just getting iron from these rocks, which is fine. Oh. Now, if I can, I end up with a bad trip. It doesn't say. I'm gonna do it anyway. <clears throat> so things like those little stamina boosts and stuff are really critical right at the very beginning when you're running around doing stuff like this, uh, especially m when there's lots of stuff and getting on and off the motorcycle is, is kind of a waste of time. So Okay. So, but at this point, we will jump on the motorcycle and head over to these rocks here. Okay, pick that up, turn our light on, get the drill out. Okay, how are we doing here? 96, okay, almost, almost. What about meat? How much meat we got on? 17. If I do this right, I will not need to make any more biofuel. Yes, I only have two charges left. You guys are probably thinking you're crazy. You'll never be able to get the resources. You'll never be able to dig. Well, this is a snow planet. And in Alpha 6, at the beginning of the second day, golems started spawning in this valley in troves, like huge groups of golems. Now, taking them on with a gun kind of sucks because you waste a lot of ammo. So I'm going to show you a little trick once we get back. Which probably won't be till next episode, but... Okay, we're getting there. So let's... Where's the command module over there? I'm actually going to set a waypoint to that just so it's <clears throat> just so it's completely visible for me there and I don't get lost. Uh, okay, we're about to hit daylight. Now now this is this is different than the last time I started, because the last time I started it started me in the day and then I had a whole night cycle. <clears throat> so I'm thinking I'm going to get bamboozled here pretty quick. So let's jump on the bike. And oh, I've got to smash these rocks. Darn it. <laughs> I've got to smash the rocks. We have over 100 silicone. Now that's ore. Double that for the amount of ingots you get. So we're golden at this point. So just from smashing rocks, I'm going to end up with over 600 iron, over 200 copper, and over 200 silicone. And you can see I've only barely just used one biofuel, one in a bit. So really effective harvesting rocks. Now, I have energy cubes on me, and I don't think I spotted any Prometheum. So that's one of the problems, but I have a plan to deal with that. So, let's pick you up again, turn my light on, and smash this rock. 
Okay, so... Hmm. We need to make it back to the command module before... And I want to smash these rocks on the way, just because I'm greedy. And no more stamina. Okay. So I can gain back a little bit of stamina right now by eating a can of food. That'll help a bit. <clears throat> Usually I have a whole bunch of Cava coffee on me and uh, I like pound that stuff like crazy. Okay, let's, we're getting under a minute now. I don't want to be caught out in the open. So let's head back. Okay. So daylight's coming. Oops, didn't want to do that. Wanted to pick it up. And we'll just head in. Now, we will throw down the O2 and my survival constructor and get those producing for me. So I'm going to put one two that's seven hours with two of those that's good and then we'll get our survival constructor here and let's put uh all the stone in and what we can do is we'll queue up some crushed stone which will queue up some concrete then we can queue up a couple hundred blocks of concrete <coughs> Okay, and let's, okay, nothing, so it's daybreak, but I don't see anything spawning yet, so maybe, maybe we do have 24 hours, and it'll still start spawning at the second night, maybe? Anyway, let's just throw all the stuff in here and start grinding it up. So we'll get that, 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 that going. We can put that in there. Uh, I mean, I can put this stuff in there too. Let's put that up there. And we're just going to let that stuff spoil. Now let's take a look at what we have for, we've got six minutes left, so I'm actually going to, and, hmm, okay, so I didn't really want to use this as my base, but I'm going to have to use it a little bit as my base, a little bit, a little bit, so let's take that out, <clears throat> and we'll just go into manage, I just want to throw one in there for now just so it doesn't run out and what does that give us 22 minutes okay 22 minutes under load so that's okay and we'll put a little bit more oxygen in here uh, we can afford to put in a couple of bottles a few bottles and I'll even draw some out here. Okay. So. Getting there, getting there. And I'm not really going to need the motorcycle anymore. So let's take that out of my toolbar. <clears throat> And I'll just throw it in my blueprints. <laughs> so we're already, just from the stuff that we're given to start with, we already have 
a nice little chunk started on the blueprint. So let's see how our concrete's coming. It's coming along. It's coming along pretty good. And we've got blocks making now. So it'll make about 150 or so. Okay. Okay, so that was just stone that I got from smashing rocks. And we've almost done the iron. It'll go onto the copper now. Okay. Okay, so while that's spinning up, while that's spinning up, we'll grab some of these concrete blocks here and start laying a pad down. Now, all I really need is a pad, a flat area. This is probably big enough right here or even here. So here, we'll do it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to hit N to bring up my building tools. And I'm going to connect to, while I'm looking at, I can look at, as long as I'm looking at a block on my base, I can connect to it. And hit N to get rid of that menu. Now, you can see, I can actually place blocks anywhere I want. They don't have to be connected because they are, I've already told it that it's connected to it. So, um, okay, so let's just, let's just get some concrete down. And, yeah, I know, my uh, stuff is sitting on concrete now, that's awesome. Okay, <clears throat> and we'll just continue this a bit. Uh, we can actually use some of our biofuel to clean this up a bit, find the edges. Just, just to clear this up and so that we can uh, make this pad big enough. Although I think it's big enough already. It looks big enough already. Okay, so from here, we'll go into the constructor. And okay, so everything is smelted. We're just going to add this directly into the... So we need 169. There's 165. And okay, uh, we need a hundred and twenty two. Okay, and we need eighty five. Okay. Okay, so let's start production on that. In nine minutes, that's going to be done. We can throw the rest of this back in the advanced constructor for now because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my tech tree now that I'm fourth level. I want to unlock the assault rifle just so that I can make more bullets if I need to. Also, I'm going to go into the hover vehicle. I'm going to unlock the cargo box, the harvest module, the, oh, I can't quite do the shutter doors yet, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna need level five. Okay, so do I need any of that? I need a fridge, let's unlock that. And we might need more ammo for the cannon. So let's take that. Uh, we'll take, we'll, we'll learn the ventilator. That's good for all, for everything. And 
Let's start learning some of this stuff because I need the mobile constructor. Very important. I know a lot of people don't even bother with it, but I think it's a godsend to tell you the truth. We're going to do the Gatling gun. Uh, we also need to go into MISC and take the harv uh, cargo box and the to unlock the ammo box. And now that leaves us with no points. But that'll allow us to put a gun on the HV and some harvesters. So, yeah. I can unlock the oxygen generator too right now. Why not? Why not? Okay. So now that I've done that, well, my stuff is brewing in the factory. I'm going to make a mobile constructor. I'm going to make a harvest box. I'm... I'm a little nervous. I'm just going to stand up here, I think. And because this door occupies this block, the entire block is oxygenated and heat controlled. So I can just stand out here and do that. Um, okay, so let's keep working on this. Uh, we are going to need a couple of these harvest modules. We're also going to need a couple of Gatling guns and a ammo box for it. We should put a fridge in here right now and probably a food processor. So we'll let those spin up. Well, guys. Next episode, I will spawn in the HV, equip it with the gear, and I'll show you how to make a ton of XP, food, and resources without actually really spending anything or being, um, being at risk. So, there you have it, guys. Uh, we are not dead yet. Level 4, zero kills, zero kills, but I killed a bunch of those... Didn't I? I killed a bunch of the... Eh, it's ripping me off. I've got kills, darn it. Anyway, guys, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Next episode, I, I will spawn in the HV. We'll equip it up and we'll take it out and get more resources. And I'll show you the trick for uh, experience and resource gathering. Okay, guys. Until next time, you guys have yourselves an awesome day.